I know from time to time, life will be hard on you. And sometimes the only way to get out of the pain, the trouble, or you're stuck, you need somebody to bounce ideas with, somebody who look at your problem from a new perspective and coach you. So I've been coaching people for the last 15, 20 years, and I've developed my own model. You know, in coaching, there sometimes chemistry. You know, you can come try work with me as your coach, and we may not connect. And sometimes we connect with people and it hit off. So I don't know what determines that chemistry, but we do the best. So I want to share this model with you. This is my model that I developed. You can use it at your own time. Hopefully it will help you. If, if it doesn't, maybe we can connect and I can see how to help you. So the first thing you come, as we always do, we ask you, how are you doing? Most of the people will give you a general answer and say, I'm fine. But there are three answers to that questions. To that question. One, when we say, how are you doing? We want to find out which zone are you in. You are either in a purposeful zone, things are going well, you are making an impact, you've got money, and everything is good. Or you're complacent. Complacent means you just, okay, you know things can be better, and you know you've got more potential, but you seem to be stuck and things are not happening. Or the third option, which I don't want you to be, you're just in a crisis. Crisis is the bad state. This is where you are just got fired, you just got divorced, you just got uh, diagnosed with a detrimental disease. So crisis is bad. And the challenge is people sometimes stay in a complacency state for too long and they end up in a crisis. So when people come, most of the time, 90%, they are in a complacency zone. They feel they can do better. So when we say, how are you? If you say, yeah, I'm fine, I'm not. The answer lies in those seven areas. It's either your health that is challenged, it's either your career, your relationship, your development, you just feel you're not developing or growing, contribution, you don't feel like you're contributing, you don't feel like your life matters, spirituality, you're just not connected to any source, or financial, you're just broke and in trouble. So when you give me an answer, if I say, how are you doing? It's probably one of those seven. Now we go deep. I say, why? Why? If you say, no, I'm not feeling well, why? Why? We ask five, why five times? And the reason you need to do this is because you need to get to the source of the problem. Most of the time, people end up answering or addressing symptoms of the problem. But if I say, what's the problem? You say, I'm just in financial trouble. Why? I don't have a job. Why don't you have a job? Because nobody is giving me a job. Why is nobody giving you a job? And then when you ask us, we now get to the depth of the problem. And that's why a coach does. We just probe in a nice way. Now, after you've written the problem, you say, what do you need? So we get into the state of writing your goals down. So we look at the seven areas, we write your goals down, and then we know what is it that you want. And then we take the problems or two or three that we identify, we zone into those ones. Then we get into, do you want to? Are you really, really purposeful? What, why is your reason for existing in this planet? So we want to know your passions, your motivation, what motivates you. And then when we can find something that motivates you, we, we, we hook on it and then we work on it. I'm telling you, by the time you get to the state, your world is almost turned around. You have revived your old passion. You feel that you can go at it again. And then we, we look at your psychology. Your psychology is you need to believe without any doubt that you can achieve that which you set forth. And then we look at your old experiences, things that you've accomplished before to help your psychology. Then we go into learning. Sometimes you need to learn a new skill and increase your knowledge so that you are able to achieve the goal. And then we look at your habits, your productivity, your tools. We give you IT tools so that you can work better and faster. And sometimes you need somebody to work with. We build, we bring new people who can teach you new skills. You hang with the right people, you attend workshops, and then you, you, you associate with the new people. Okay? 
And the last one is how do you sustain it? So we look at, we look at your personal strength. It could be your attitude that's a problem. Do you know a lot of smart people have attitude problem and that prevents them from going to the next stage. So we look at your attitude. Sometimes it's courage. You know your purpose. You believe you can do it. You have got the skills. You know how to manage your time. You've got the right people, but you don't have the courage to go and do it, to take risks. So we help you with your courage. Sometimes it's your confidence. You're not confident enough, enough and we work on your confidence. Sometimes mindfulness, we help you how to meditate, to listen to the voices within. We help you change your mental model, your integrity. So, so this is sort of a framework. Sometimes when you are struggling, or well, let me say, I know you are struggling, and it could be one of these areas. Maybe it's your psychology, maybe it's your productivity, but I wouldn't know. You probably would know, but if you don't know, ask Let's help you. I hope this is helpful and you can apply it. Develop your own model. Let's compare models. Let's exchange information and let's help each other to become better. Thank you for listening. This is Dr. Joe right here to inspire your greatness. Please, if you like this, hit the subscribe button below. Share it with other people. Let's help each other to inspire our greatness and be impactful. God bless you.